This wall is so long that when it was being operated 400 years ago, guards in towers at the east end of the wall would witness the sunrise one hour and 20 minutes before guards at the western end of the same wall would witness the same event. Visitors to China are familiar with the famous brick wall. Built in the 1500s to defend against the Mongol hordes, but its origins started much earlier as sun-baked mud. Terrifying forces drove its creation and explain why and how the Great Wall was first built. We have to go back over 2,200 years and deep into the wilderness to find remnants of the longest wall built to defend ancient China. Only fragments remain. Once, this was one of the most disputed parts of Asia, a battleground for the Chinese. And raiders from modern Mongolia, known as the Xiongnu. Xiongnu were famed as horse archers, a brutal raiding force of hard riding men who struck terror into the hearts of the enemy. To pursue or engage them often led to disaster. Horse archers were the ideal troops for harassing attacks. They could come as if from nowhere, appearing suddenly. It was true terror tactics. The Xiongnu were warrior nomads in the land north of China. They were the ancestors of Genghis Khan and the Mongols. And with their superb mastery of the horse and deadly composite bow, they revolutionized warfare and forced the great Chinese empire to adopt a radical new strategy. They decided to build a wall, a complex linear fortress. Nomads from the north posed a realistic military threat. Every emperor soon learned that the length of his job would depend on managing the frontier well. But over two millennia ago, how did they make a wall in a desert? This is a replica of the rammed earth wall. It's at once wonderfully simple and yet wonderfully sophisticated. Look at this frame, for instance. The top of the frame allows you perfect alignment to get that wall running exactly where you want it across the landscape. I also use these reeds, so bundles of reeds that were layered in between the rammed earth. Pounding in the reeds binds the earth together, making a tough, solid wall. It's simple and yet sophisticated. It's a wonderful design. And this reconstructed section is only a third of the size of the original walls. They changed the landscape, standing 20 feet tall. These defenses focused on blocking strategic weak points, vulnerable passes and valleys. It evolved over 400 years and stretched for 6,000 miles. But this wasn't just a simple barrier. It was an entire protection and communications network, expertly designed to resist attack. One of the many defense systems is this perimeter forest of porcupine spikes. Look how unpleasant they are. You'd have to send very brave men in. Attacking troops would have to clear the spikes in order to climb and breach the wall. But while they're being cleared, men up there are shooting down at you. 